Well, I'm glad today is a rest day because I woke up at 10 a.m. right now and I was supposed to get up at 9.30, but it's okay. I'm just needing to rest. I think it's time for the weigh-in. Putting avocado in water apparently will preserve it longer for weeks even, so I'm going to try it out and let y'all know how it works. Alright, got eggs, spinach, oatmeal, blueberries, protein powder, ready for lunch. But fortunately today did not lose weight, so we're going to lower the carbs. I want to try to stay at around 51 grams of fat as much as long as possible, uh, just because you're a hormone balance uh, pretty well, so I'm going to keep the fats high, or try to, and keep lowering the carbs until maybe lowering it around 150, then I'll start hitting the fats again, so we'll see, see y'all after lunch. Alright guys, change of plans, not having to go to Austin anymore. As I woke up late, and so there's no need to go as the, f our, uh, the family member does want to leave um, early, so I, would, I will miss them. So instead, I'm going to go to church now and see what the sermon's about. All right, guys, just got back, went to Costco, went to church. Actually, a great lesson today. Now it's lunchtime. It's um, 4 o'clock, 4.17, so I'm going to prepare lunch, eat it, and then we'll have dinner hopefully around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, um, and go from there. Time to prepare lunch. All right, so one cup of brown rice now. My one cup scooper, bowl of brown rice. Increasing the chicken intake, so we're doing 4.5 ounces of chicken now. This looks pretty big. Green beans, 85 grams. Throw it in the microwave. So it's 170 grams of Greek yogurt. Uh, the only thing I wish Greek yogurt was better at is that it doesn't stick to the spoon as much. I feel like I waste a lot of the Greek yogurt by not having it all fall into the bowl. Like I have to spend time scraping it out off the spoon. This is what I'm talking about. And then last but not least, frozen strawberries. And we'll be doing 140 grams of frozen strawberries. Alright, the final presentation there. Alright, it's dinner time. Let's make dinner. Well guys, I messed up and got catfish instead of tilapia, but this will do. Alright, so I'm taking Half of it, cooking only half of the pack, because I think this should last me a while. Based on the ounces here, it's 3.44 pounds. <clears throat> so I'm going to eat, I have about half a pound here, 1.5 pounds here. So that will be about, for my calculation, it should equate to... I'm eating like around four ounces a day. I think there's about 16 ounces in one pound. So in that case, it should last me about six days. So I'm gonna cook this and then I'll cook the other half when I'm about to run out. So I'm gonna season it first. I personally like Italian seasoning on my fish. It tastes really good. And so I'm gonna add this. I'll add some salt, and I think I'll add some 
chili flakes to add some spiciness. All right, added the salt, crushed peppers, and Italian seasoning to one side. Now I gotta flip it over and do the other side. Spray the oil, spray the pan with some oil. Alright, let's slap on the fish. Alright, while that's cooking, I'm gonna cook it four minutes on each side and then flip it, and then this should be good to go. While that's going on, I'm gonna go measure out my uh, other food in the meantime. Alright, just finished cooking some of the food. The other portion is still cooking, but I have the broccoli, tilapia, and a little bit of sweet potato right there. And then the frozen raspberries right here. And that's it for dinner. Alright guys, it's the end of the day. Pretty, pretty chill day today. Woke up. Just glad that it's a simple day and I know the week's coming up and and so it's going to get tough once usually the week starts. I guess one thing I would like to comment is just the, I mean, making these, these videos for you guys has, I guess, taken away some of my sleep and increased some of the stress that I have in the sense of wanting to, you know, complete these and post the exact same day. But I'm committed to it and I want to do this because I've been wanting to to at least finish the series for the longest since I started this channel, so I, I'm going to do it. I'll sacrifice sleep for it, but I, I need I myself need to get better and have a process in place so I can get it done quicker. And so that's my commitment to you guys. All right, so the question for today is from M Lao five five nine nine and. They ask, as someone who is trying to get into working out, what workouts would you start with and how do you continuously and consistently work out without it being a drag? I can make a whole video on this question alone, but I'm going to simplify it so that way you guys can take something uh, with you and, and learn it and apply it to to your life as that's the goal with these videos as I could make a whole long 10 minute 20 minute video but I don't think it would be as productive as breaking it into easy step-by-step -step actionable items so I'll start off with what workouts would you start with so two questions I would ask, are you overweight and do you need to spend, up, spend time working on mobility? So if you're, if you're in that category, then I would practice stretching and getting your, if you haven't like worked out at all in your life, just stretching and moving in, in, in ways that will help stretch out your muscles so that it has that flexibility. And, and then do these, do exercises such as um, knee push-ups or air squats or seated squat or squats where you're sitting down on something and standing back up in a squat, fo in a squat form would help. And then doing tricep dips uh, over a, having your hands over, a, over the edge of a seat and then having your legs out in front and then dipping down, that will help as well. And if you're looking, if you're a person who has had some experience with weightlifting, I would definitely look at picking three muscle groups to work out each day, and about 30 minute workout uh, for three days would would help you. I'll answer the second part in the second video as I don't want to make this video too long. So that's it, guys. Don't forget, it's never too late for you to be the one.